Okay, we do have some mouflon on the river. Only females. Man, where are they keeping the mouflon? Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter I'm, Call of the I'm Wild. Lady and I'm Lady Legend. Quattro Kalinas is one of the maps that has been completely reset since the update, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna have a look at brand new Quattro. Every single animal has a new zone time and they all have been moved around. They all are in different spots. So we're gonna have a look at their new drink time. We're gonna have a look at the best loadout for Quattro and generally where you will find all the animals since the update. Now, this is not gonna be a super guide. I do need some time to figure out where all of the very best spots are and to really research this map. And I promise I will come out with a new fully detailed super guide with hotspot maps but that is not today's video. Today we are just gonna figure out what has changed and get you guys started so that you can hunt this map since the update without having to spend millions of hours figuring out where everything is. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, guys, or learn anything at all, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. So thanks, guys, for that, and let's head right into it. So basically, what they're doing with all the reset maps that do have new times for all of the species is they all have one drink time. They don't overlap. Everything has their own drink time. And so when you do get on a multiplayer, you're only gonna find one species drinking at any given time. So this is going to result in seeing less animals. It's gonna feel like your map is more barren. There are just as many animals, guys. They just aren't drinking at the same time anymore. So you're gonna have to visit spots more than once to find more than one species, unless of course they are feeding at the same time. Now there are some overlaps and I will share those with you, but you are going to have to do a lot of this a lot of searching but hopefully with today's guide i will save you a bunch of time in that that is my hope okay guys let's have a look at the best loadout for quattro now before we go into this guys i just want to mention that i do have the pack mule skill which is allowing me to carry an extra three kilograms worth of space in my inventory without making any additional noise that is absolutely huge. So I just wanted to mention that. So I am carrying with me the Zarza 308, the Zarza 223, and the Zarza 22. With just carrying the modern rifles weapon pack, you can hunt absolutely everything in Quattro. Now the 308 is going to be for wild boar, wolves, red deer, ibex, and mouflon. The 223 is going to be for roe deer, and the Zarza 22 LR will be for European hare. Now I always carry all of my ammo with me everywhere I go because it weighs so little that way I don't forget anything I always carry with me the Argus and the Hyperion and then we do have the Predator Distressed Fawn Collar and that is for Iberian Wolves you can also use the Predator Jackrabbit Collar for Iberian Wolves but there is no point in carrying both collars and we have the Red Deer Collar the Roe Deer Collar and the Wild Boar Collar I am carrying with me the first aid kit and I do highly recommend that you carry first aid with you on any map that has wolves or buffalo because they are very aggressive. We do have Scent Eliminator, the Apex View, Daytime Binoculars, and the Gen Zero Nighttime Binoculars, and I am still able to carry a tent with me. Now, tents are six kilograms, guys. If I were to get rid of my tent, I am carrying it because I am setting up. All the zones have changed, so I do want to have tents with me, but were I to get rid of it, six kilograms of additional weapons is going to equate to probably two more weapons. So without the tent, I can definitely carry an additional bow, a shotgun, a handgun, or possibly both. So I do highly recommend the pack mule skill. And if you are wondering where to find that, just go into your ambusher skills this is it right here and yeah 15 percent additional carrying space which equates to three kilograms is absolutely game changing so i actually reset my skills and perks just to get this one and it was totally worth it so basically guys this is how it is going to break down for you in newly reset quattro from zero to three or 330 we have wild boar drinking then from three till six or 630 we have iberian wolves drinking then from six till 10 or 10 30 we have red deer and they only have the one drink time to my knowledge then from 10 to 14 or 14 30 all four species of ibex are drinking 14 till 18 or 18 30 is roe deer drink time and then from 1800 until 21 or 21 30 we have iberian mouflon and european hare do not drink you're gonna have to find them in their rest and feed zones so on a multiplayer map, it is very handy to have the zones like that because there's always gonna be something drinking. 
Let me know in the comments how you feel about the new zone times, guys, and how they have them separated. How do you feel about that? Do you like it better or not so much? I'd love to know. The next species we're gonna have a look at, guys, is wild boar. Now, wild boar now drink in Quattro from zero or midnight until three or 3.30. Now, we are at the top right lake. We do have a zone right here. This has traditionally been a really good lake for boar. They always seem to drink in the dark, but we do have a nice four in there. He's not max estimate, but he's the biggest. Okay guys, we have wild boar down here and now we are at the bottom middle lake. So there is a zone right here. Now the other way to hunt wild boar is you can hunt them out in the fields during their feed time. So how to tell where to look guys is you wanna look for these light areas, the fields here. They actually feed from three till six and 1700 until midnight. And we are gonna head out into the fields and find some. Let's do that. I almost spooked him, but we did find a zone. So guys, now we are at this lake right here and traditionally this has been an absolutely fantastic lake for drinking wild boar and it doesn't look like that has changed. Now the other maps you can hunt wild boar on guys are Hirschfelden and you can hunt them in Medved as well. All females get out. Blat and there she is. It looks like I have two zones here for wild, wild boar. boar in their drink zone. Now I also wanted to point out to you guys that there are wild boar drinking at this lake. I have two zones right here. So those are definitely some spots to get you started. So here's a great example, guys. As I was explaining before, you wanna look in these light areas for feed zones, and we actually have one right here, 3.30 until 6.30. So when you look out at the map, guys, if you wanna hunt them in their feed zones, this area right here, there are some right here. I have seen boar in there quite a bit. There are fields all in this area here, right there, and in this area as well. So those are some places to hunt them in their feed zones. Next species we're gonna have a look at are Iberian wolves. Now Iberian wolves now drink in Quattro from three until six or 6.30. So they still drink in the dark. There are a lot of zones for wolves. I have been finding them all over the place. So right now we are at this lake. That is so awesome for red deer. And we do have one zone right here, 3.30 to six. And we do have one really big wolf. Now wolves are awesome for cash guys. The nice thing about them is they usually, knock knock, usually don't spook and you can usually take out the whole pack. But if you are gonna do that, try and use a tripod to preserve your zone. I'm just gonna take this mythical. So yeah, they usually just stop. They don't usually run away like deer do and there is ample opportunity to take a whole bunch down and they pay really, really well. We're just gonna take the two for now. We don't wanna blow that zone out, that is for sure. That's one of our red deer zones. And there he is, 38.5 and 39 is diamond. So he is a very big wolf, but just not quite big enough. Little bit on the far back side, but that is a good shot. This is where we found those wolves, right there. Okay, so we do have another pack here and now we're at one of the small lakes. This lake right here above the southeastern mountain. Now I have a wolf zone right here on Wiggly Lake. Okay guys, so so far I have found wolf zones at this lake, this lake, and this lake right here. Just one zone on each lake, but you will find wolves there. We are at this lake right here, so I do have a zone here. I've been finding a lot of wolves. That's a wolf zone right there. They are all over the place, guys. You really shouldn't have a hard time finding Iberian wolves drinking. Okay, guys, so the next species we are gonna have a look at is red deer. Now, red deer are probably the most popular species to hunt in Quattro because you can hunt for a great one red deer. Now, red deer do have a new drink time and it is six or 6.30 until 10 or 10.30. And their zones have changed quite a bit. To date, I have found 42 zones, but guys, I am hearing that there are close to 60 red deer zones in Quattro now. So I definitely do have some more zone searching to do, but this lake is a hot spot. So five of these six zones are red deer zones for me after the update, guys. This one is a Basit zone and all the rest are red deer but the top right hand lake does not have as many red deer as I used to have. I actually have three zones here right now. I am hearing that a lot of people have more than that so maybe some more zones will pop up for me. I am gonna share a map with you showing you where all my red deer zones are. I have already put out a hotspot guide for the red deer guys. Everything you need to know to put that great one red deer in your lodge in Quattro and I will leave the link on the screen and below the video for you. Oh, and there's another correction, six zones. 
<laughs> and that is an absolute beautiful seven. Six red deer zones, holy. Look at all the red deer. Now I did find an initial spawn great one looking for my quattro zones, and if you're wondering where I found him, he was in this zone right here. Now it is possible that you also could find a Red Deer Great One while you are looking for your Quattro maps. There are initial spawn Great Ones and it is pretty lucky to find one and I never thought it would happen to me in a million years but it is possible and some of you will find one. All kinds of Red Deer zones. This lake right here is an absolute gold mine for Red Deer. Okay guys, so here is my Red Deer zone guide for Quattro. I don't have every zone, but I do have 42. This is the same map I shared in my Quattro Red Deer guide. You won't have exactly the same zones as me, but this should definitely help you find some of your Red Deer zones. Our next species is Roe Deer. Roe Deer now drink from 1400 till 18 or 1830 in newly reset Quattro. They are all over the place. There aren't as many. There used to be a pile guys right at the end here and I just checked there and there were none. Now I did check at this lake here which used to be an amazing roe deer lake. There are still roe deer there but all I found were females. Now I am at the bottom right hand lake and I do have a male right there. Not a bad guy, he looks pretty nice. Now one place I was finding a pile of roe deer zones guys is on the river. I haven't run the entire river, but these are all roe deer zones. I just started here and they are all over the place. Now this lake right here, there are roe deer drinking at this lake. I don't know if there were before and I found quite a few around this lake. Three zones for roe deer, this lake right here. That's pretty crazy, right? No roe deer here, but definitely the river is a hot spot for roe deer. Okay guys, so we are now at the bottom middle lake, which used to be my absolute favorite lake for roe deer. I wanted to check if it is still a good lake for roe deer, and it appears to be just as good as it was before. There are a pile of roe deer here, and they are not all female, which is very exciting. So there's another amazing spot to find roe deer after the update. Okay guys, so our next species is Iberian Mouflon, and they now drink in the dark. Their new drink time is 1800 till 21 or 2130. Now I spent about four hours looking for mouflon zones and let me tell you guys, they are not easy to find. In those four hours, I found 16 zones, that's it. So I have a feeling that they are hiding a lot of the zones nice, on the river. The but I actually do have two zones on this lake right here, left of the top right lake. I didn't find any mouflon drinking at the Basit Mountain, which is kind of strange. I do have one mouflon drink zone at this lake. I have a zone right here, at this lake, right here. I have one at this lake, right here. That there is a mouflon zone. So they're basically hit and miss, but they really are not that easy to find. But I will be making a fully detailed zone guide in my super guide. I will find every single zone before I put that guide out and I will share that with you. The next species we're gonna have a look at is Southeastern Spanish Ibex. Now all of the Ibex drink times have changed and they now drink from 10 until 14 or 1430. Now this is the Southeastern Ibex Mountain, so there should be Southeastern Ibex drinking at these five lakes just like they did before and they are right here for me. And you can use any four to eight on any of the Ibex. So Ibex are actually fairly easy diamonds, guys, as far as diamonds go. They are the more common diamonds, especially Basit Ibex. Gritos are the toughest, at least they were for me. And there you go, there's a Southeastern Spanish Ibex. It looks like we have one zone here. And we do have Ibex here as well, and I just spooked them. So they are still at all these five lakes that surround the Southeastern mountain. Now I do understand that they are now drinking at this lake. Let's head over there and check that out. There they are. I don't think they were drinking here before, not that I remember, and there are a pile of them. That is absolutely sweet. Now, when you are hunting for Ibex, guys, if you are looking for a diamond, all four Ibex species do go diamond at level four. So knowing their diamond trophy rating is very important when you're hunting them so that you can identify a diamond potential Ibex. This zone is right here, bottom middle lake for Southeastern Spanish Ibex. The Southeastern Spanish Mountain is right here. This is the Gritos Mountain, so you're gonna find Gritos at this lake. I do still have zones over in this corner over here, and sometimes they do show up on this lake. 
Okay guys, so we are now at the top of Basit Mountain and that is right here. There are just so many of them here. I haven't even spotted them all yet. I could have a level five here. Now there doesn't seem to be as many as there used to be here. That is interesting. They are. But we have found more Basit. They are at this lake and they actually used to drink here as well. One of my favorite lakes for them. And this is this lake right here by Colina Rota. And there's another zone over there. Beautiful. So two zones at this lake right here, guys, for Basit. So basically to know where to look for Basits in their drink zone, this is an easy way to figure it out. So Basit are only gonna drink at lakes around this mountain. So you may find them up here. They may even be over here. I'm gonna have to check there. They are definitely here. They are at this lake right here. And I have seen them along the river here. And as far as Rondas go, this right here, I still haven't picked up that lookout tower, but this is the Ronda Mountain. So I actually do have Ronda Ibex zones at the end of the big lake, this lake here, and this lake right here. It's interesting because I actually could have Ronda and Basit at this lake. Let's see what we have here. All right, so there's one zone, lots of them. Nothing too big. And we do have another zone down there, beautiful. And we do have Rondas here. Isn't that fascinating? So this lake has two different species of Ibex drinking at it. And let me show you where we are here. This is the lake that is now amazing for red deer. So we have two Basit zones and one Ronda Ibex zone. So that is a great lake to hit for Ibex hunting. That is for sure. Okay guys, so we are now out in the fields. Let me show you where we are out in the fields here. And this, all these field areas are amazing for hunting. For Euro hair, and we have a nice big female there, not diamond potential, but pretty nice. They will be out here in the fields now. They feed from 1800 until 6 a.m., so they feed in the dark. And I do think this is probably going to be the easiest way to find them, is hunting the fields with your night vision binoculars. This is definitely the way I am going to go about it. So that zone is from 1800 until 2100. They will have several different feed zones all the way up till 6 a.m. So there you have it guys, that should definitely help you to get around in Quattro since the update. Everything has new drink times, new feed times, new rest times, and new locations. So get out there and enjoy newly reset Quattro and I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did guys, go ahead and smash that like button, it is amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.